Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R640 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on mass updates. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R640 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, uh, let's hop into it. This video is uh, one of my favorite videos in the series. It's about mass updates or how to do mass updates for your 640. Uh, to me, it's uh, one of the most important videos because you really need to keep your system up to date. Um, you never know uh, what issue is going to happen specifically because your, your uh, system's not up to date. So a good example would be when you don't have your BIOS updated, uh, you, you might run into an issue with this specific proc. If you want to use a newer proc as opposed to uh, the first gen scalable and you want to use the second gen scalable, uh, if you want to use the R series for the second gen scalable, uh, these are all things that will require updates, right? Uh, so just little things like this that you can run into uh, because your system's not updated. So it's definitely one, uh, one of the things I recommend. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, connect R640 to um, a network and essentially run updates on it. And we're going to show you step by step uh, exactly how to do that. Uh, one of the things I do want to note, depending on how old your 640 is, if it was a uh, uh, you know, five years old, then uh, potentially it could take hours to run your updates and only take a few minutes to set up the steps to do it. Uh, but sometimes the updates will take hours. Uh, we'll hook up, you know, a hundred, run them overnight. Uh, and the bulk of them will be done, but generally sometimes we'll come in and there's still a few that are still going because it does take a long time if you are updating everything, which is something I do recommend doing once in a while. And of course, if you're keeping it up to date, then obviously it doesn't take uh, long each time that you're doing it. But if it's been a while, um, it, it might take a little bit. So I just wanted to throw that out there and give you a heads up. So, all right, well, let's hop in. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to perform mass updates. Mass updates is a great way to go ahead and update a bunch of different things for your server all at once. It's going to update things like firmware for your RAID controller, for your network card. Um, it's also going to update things like your BIOS, uh, your onboard diagnostics different driver packs, and even your iDRAC, um, and a couple of other things. So it's, it's a really neat feature that is integrated within um, Dell's lifecycle controller. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and boot up your server. And during post, you wanna go ahead and press F10 so we can go ahead and enter into the lifecycle controller. Once we are in lifecycle controller, we wanna go ahead and scroll down. You wanna go ahead and scroll down to settings. And then we want to go ahead and click on network settings. And then here we're going to go ahead and connect our server to the internet. So we're going to go ahead and keep our NIC port 1. And then we're going to set a IP address via DHCP. Later on in the series, we have a video talking about how to set a static IP and a DHCP IP address. So if you're interested to learn a little bit more about that, go ahead and check out that video. Uh, but we wanna go ahead and set this DHCP IP address. We will go ahead and let this load. And once it is successful, we can go ahead and click on finish. Essentially by doing this, this is what's going to allow us to connect to the internet so we can go ahead and pull all of the updates we need from a Dell Downloads Network Share. So once we've done that, we want to scroll up to Firmware Update and then we want to click on Launch Firmware Update. And here we want to scroll down and select Network Share and then we can go ahead and click on Next. Up here we want to change this to HTTPS and then we want to type in the shared name address, which is going to be downloads.dell.com. Once we've typed that in, we can go ahead and scroll all the way down and then just click on next. And then we'll give this a second to load. And this is going to download and validate all of the update packages. So we can go ahead and then access them and then select the ones we want. So here we can just go ahead and click on yes. And this is only because since we are using servers that aren't supported anymore, um, that certificate that we're going to to download these updates, um, the certificate's no longer invalid, but it is completely safe. So we can just go ahead and ignore that message. Once all the download packages are finished, 
we are presented with all of the different updates that we can do. And if something is not up to date, um, it'll automatically select it. As you can see that we have check marks on some of these and then some of these don't have any check marks um, because they're already completely up to date. So we can just go ahead and scroll down and be able to see all the different updates we can run. We can pick and choose different ones. So once we've selected all the ones we wanna do, we can just go ahead and click apply. And then this is actually gonna start downloading the update packages. So this part may take a little bit of time, but we're just gonna wait this out. And then once it's done downloading the download packages, the mass updates will begin, and then we can just sit back and relax. So like I said, all we gotta do is just sit back and relax and wait for all this to finish. These updates can take several hours. Um, and there's a lot of factors that determine um, how long this will take. A lot of it has to do with how many updates you have selected, which updates you have selected, for us, we selected a good amount of different updates, um, so it's gonna take us a little bit of time. Like I said, it could take several hours. Uh, it could take, you know, 30 minutes if you don't have any updates selected, or it could take, you know, 10 hours or so. Sometimes what we like to do um, is we'll like to go ahead and run mass updates on a bunch of different servers that we're gonna be sending out to clients. And, you know, we'll come back in the morning and sometimes they're not fully updated. They're still running. Sometimes we just have systems that are very out of date. So we go ahead and, you know, keep that running overnight. But mass updates is such a great way to go ahead and update everything on your system and make sure the system's fully up to date. If you found this video useful, go ahead and leave a like and smash the subscribe. And if you're interested in purchasing a custom built server, whether it's Dell, HP, Supermicro, Cisco, um, we have plenty in stock. We also have AMD Ryzen servers, AMD Epic servers, Intel Xeon scalable servers. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Take care, guys.